back to my channel shout out to all my new and my old subscribers if you haven't subscribed yet please click that button down below it is free i do subscribe back your girl really would appreciate that and if you want to get notified anytime your girl upload any type of videos just hit that bell button and youtube will notify you your girl been gone for like a month or two probably going on two months my last review was a headband wig so yeah off amazon so therefore i have another amazon prime wig for you ladies now before I show y'all this wig, I've been eyeballing this wig for a very long time. And when I say a long time, for like months. But for some reason, I just, I was skeptical and I didn't want to pay the price. The wig that I'm talking about, like I said, it's Amazon Prime. I paid $134. Then I had a $5 gift card that was just sitting on my Amazon account. So it was about $140 with tax and all. $139 or whatever. So I said, forget it, you know. Let me just go ahead and get it because this unit, every time I look at it, it'd be having like three or four in stock. Then I go back and it'd be out of stock. But this particular company, which I will link, link all the links down below so you ladies can check that out if you want to. They'll be sold out, but they always restock or whatever. But you never know with Amazon vendors. You never know what will happen because I know it's another vendor that sell these particular units as well. And um, they're currently sold out, the one that I'm about to share with you ladies. I've only seen one video, one wig review video on this particular unit from Amazon. I hope y'all doing well. Your girl just been living life. I can't complain. So yeah, I got my package like 10 minutes ago from Amazon Prime. Now y'all, <laughs> when the girl delivered it to me, I was like, okay, is this what I ordered? Because look, look how big this box is. Y'all see that? Huge box for one wig. I even had to do a double take at the address and the name. Like, is this really my um, package? But I don't know. Maybe Amazon ran out of boxes or whatever. So, yeah, this is supposed to be a... The name of the company off of Amazon I purchased this wig from is Hero. But it's Hero braided lace front wigs for black women synthetic hair tiny box braiding wig 28 inches extra long frontal lace twist braided wig middle part two-tone fs4 slash 27 brown mixed blonde i don't know why amazon be putting all that information on that that's just too much but i read it all to you ladies so y'all can know what it really is so we're gonna open this y'all excuse my nails i gotta go get a feeling i have an appointment on friday me and my homegirl so yes i'm excited about this wig because when i seen the review the girl was gorgeous and the wig was very pretty okay so the packaging is cute all right i don't know if this i guess this is the package just what it looks like but this is cute y'all look at that color y'all see that yeah i know i love me some 27 mix i love it but this is really cute. I'm really loving the packaging. Okay. All right. And like I said, this color is FS4 slash 27. It is a twist wig. I think it's like a four by four, a 13 by four, but it's not like a full frontal. It's like the 13 lace going across ear to ear. And then you got this little part right here is the four by four, but I'll show you ladies. Okay. And it says it's 28 inches. It's not that long. I love it. I, I'm loving the color. Look at that. Scalp action, y'all. I'm super excited. I'm glad. I, why was I sleeping on this wig? I should have bought this a long time ago. But this wig came just in time because I got some things going on this weekend. My niece is graduating on the 27th. Then we having her little get together on the, on the 29th, which is Saturday. So yeah, this wig came just in time, but this is a little tag. This is the Lunch Lady Knit. Okay, so it's well packaged. Let's take all of this off. Look at this wig, y'all. And it's not too full and it's not too thin either. It has another little tag on here that basically have the information on it, which is right there. And we're gonna cut that off because I got my scissors right here. So let's cut that off, ladies. Hopefully, hopefully this video don't be too long, but I'm gonna edit it anyway, so it's all good. Y'all see that? This wig is like hard, but not too hard, which I love that. That's what the ends look like. This is what the top look like. 
You got your baby hairs. It is tracks in the back, y'all, but you're not gonna be able to see those tracks with the hair down, as y'all can see. Cause a lot of people be um, commenting on my video saying that, could I show the back with the wig on? Y'all, it's no different when you put the wig on. You still, it still look the same. Just wear the hair down and just be mindful that it's tracks in the back. That's all. So this is the lace. The lace look like it's tinted a little bit. This is the, the side I was talking about. So this is all you get right here. I think this is like a four by four, three by three, four by four, something like that. And then you get lace ear to ear. So the braids look like, you know, they still look like they're coming out your scalp. You see that? So gorgeous. So this is what you getting. Okay. Gorgeous. So before I cut this lace, because this wig is refundable, I can return it. You know, that's one thing I love about Amazon Prime. If you don't like it, you can return it. Just don't cut the lace or whatever. So before I cut this lace, I'm going to try this wig on. All right, y'all. So this is the wig with the lace still on. And when I say this is a snug fit, this wig is glueless. You don't have to use no glue, no got to be sprayed. The only thing you have to use is whatever you use to lay your fake baby hairs down. That's it. Um, I don't know if I showed it in the first clip, but you do have your adjustable straps with the extra hook on it. And you have an elastic band that's adjustable inside the wig. So this makes it glueless and it is not too thin. It's not too thick. And the sparse baby hairs, there's not a lot of baby hairs on this unit. And it's like, it came in the middle part, but of course you can switch it very easily. You ain't got to use no blow dryer. It just, it switched easily across. Like it don't matter how you want to wear it, it. It lays flat. This color is gorgeous, y'all. I am, <laughs> I'm up close so y'all can see, but the baby hair is a push back, but y'all see how that looks so realistic. I do not have a stocking cap on up under here, nothing. Those of you who know me, my hair is bald. I always keep my hair cut short, short. So I don't have to use stocking caps if I don't want to. But yes, this is her and it has a string attached in the back. So of course the tracks won't show if you like, if the wind blow or whatever. So I'm not gonna cut that string. I'm just gonna keep it attached because basically I'm just gonna wear this wig either down or half up, half down style, just half up, half down. So but yeah, y'all. And this is all the hair pulled to the front. And if you see, I don't know if you can see in my mirror, but you cannot see nothing back there because the way they made the wig is it's not too full, but they made it just right. So the tracks won't show in the, and of course, like I said before, it's a string attached in the back. So the tracks won't show back there. But yes, I had to make sure I was liking this wig before I cut the lace or whatever, just in case I had to return it. And it stops right here I'm on my tippy toes. So I'm assuming it is true to length, 28 inches, but this is so cute. I'm loving this. So y'all, what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut this lace. I'm not going to put no lace tint on it, no face powder or nothing. I'm just going to cut the lace do my baby hairs, put it up in a little half up, half down style because that's how I was planning on wearing it today. And yeah. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, I cut the lace. I laid the baby hairs. I didn't do a real good job at it. I think it's the little edge control I use. It's not working for these baby hairs on these partic this particular wig, but I did my little half up, half down, wrap some hair around it. This is all the hair to the front. Gorgeous. This wig is not heavy. And I repeat, it is not heavy at all. This is enough hair on this unit. I mean, it's not too thick and it's not too um, thin. I didn't say that like four or five times in this video. But yeah, y'all, I didn't put no powder on the lace. But if you want to, you can. I just prefer not to. Um... But yeah, this is her. She is gorgeous, y'all. I love her. This is a good throw on and go. I did not use no type of got to be glue uh, spray, no type of glue, nothing. I just put this on my head. I used some little edge control to lay the baby hairs. And that's all I did, y'all. So yes, this is her. This is the type of wig. Okay, 
let me explain real quick this wig is the type of wig that you can wear it half up half down because it does have tracks in the back so if you want to style it more just make sure you take a mirror to look in the back make sure your tracks not showing so nobody won't clock you or whatever i plan on wearing this for like a week or two straight just to you know test it out or whatever and yeah your girl is loving it i covered everything on this unit yeah i gotta do my baby hair it's a little bit better than this though but i was rushing y'all because i do gotta go somewhere but yeah this is it y'all so anywho i'm gonna blow kisses into my next video and i want to say thank you for watching this video from beginning to the end and yeah i'll see you later